Hello, one way to realize how much something is worth to your life and how much it adds value is if you're not able to have it for a certain time. This completely holds true to me for um, recording videos like this one right now. Within the last days I had this massive problem with my iPhone that it uh, couldn't delete the storage and therefore um, I couldn't uh, record more videos. Um, I reinstalled everything yesterday and uh, looks like I'm back again. And I think this holds true for a lot of things in life. It can be work when you come back from holidays and you're happy that you have your colleagues back around. But it can also be like travels, trips, visits to friends, going to the cinema. I mean, there's a lot of things right now after the corona crisis getting back to a little too normal that you realize you love some of those things which have not been there. In Switzerland right now it is a pretty simple part that uh, restaurants can open outside without face masks, inside there's more or less restrictions and everyone is on the way right now. But how can we make sure that the things we love to see, we like to see, we like to have are already being perceived in the right way and not just at the moment when we are missing it. And this is sometimes a tricky part. I would suggest out of my experience that we we evaluate the things we are doing and the things we are owning more often by just thinking through what do we have what do we do and how did we come there that we were using those things and uh, for some of the parts and I had it in my other video well is it's like you try something new and the good part is here if this new thing um, makes you feel like you want to go back to the old thing then you already know something about it but sometimes it's like even out of accident you forget one of your backpacks you forget a power bank and then you realize how much you use and like it the example for the smartphone is usually just like not having it charged you will realize how many times you take it out of your pocket and it's a black screen but all this is just like still a small step into the mistake to have a proper realization. I personally so far did not really find a way to completely think about it ahead of time. Um, I would say with my work I do have a daily feeling that I really like it. I enjoy to empower people, to give them opportunities and to ask questions. And uh, that, that really fulfills me in, in my daily work life. But for, for equipment, for parts, often it's the comparison. And I think the, comp the example here is like with water temperatures or temperatures in general. I think there was this old uh, topic uh, we learned in biology that the human body is not able to, um, to perceive a fixed temperature. You can I mean, it's really hot and really cold, that works. But in between, it's really tricky. It's more the comparison part. It's like when you dip your hand in cold water, etc. And if this is the case, then we need to compare more often. Then we need to be willing more often to compare what we have. And um, it reminds me of the old words from my, from my grandma. I mean, she was not always right with this, but hey, be happy that you have food, be happy that you have X other people don't have. Um, if it's too extreme, probably we just internally block those ideas out. But if the comparison is um, not so far away, then especially when we dislike things by imagining the worst, but also if we like things by just pulling a little back, um, it makes us realize how, how well you valuable it is for us and uh, I think that answers the question can we do that beforehand yes but only with imagination of the opposite and this is still something you shouldn't do on a too hard pushing basis you don't want to put your subconscious into the uh, into work and say I'll tell you all the reasons why life is bad but you probably want to have a comparison or like at least a slight chance of hey, what is the benefits of things? And um, 
What is the benefit of having a small microphone like the video mic Mi L, which I'm having right now? I can just plug it on the phone, record something, and I'm good to go. What is the compa what is the adv advantage of using the iPhone 11 Pro, what of the old one, X, Y, Z? What is the advantage of the iPhone 11 to the 11 Max? It doesn't pinch me. My groin doesn't hurt me. And there's there's a lot of positive things about certain devices, which is either related to an opposite on another device, or just inherent in the device itself. Keep track of it. Note it down. That's what I do. I put it in Notion. And um, when I was talking to Annie Lee a week ago, we were talking about the mistakes and the learnings from it. And still, the, but with just positive things, not always they come out of a negative, but many times they come out of a failure. And if that's not yet the case, be happy about it. But still, yeah, keep track of it. Because without keeping track, you might forget the reason why. And that might even move you in the future into a decision where you forgot the why. And you will do something else probably. Like for plannings and stuff. What was the reason you took a day off here and there? What was the reason you did not plan anything on your usual day X, Y, Z? Because probably there was something else you wanted to do. There we keep track with the calendar. But when it comes to decisions, what do we want to do in life? What do we not do? want to do in life? What do we want to buy in life and what not to buy? We tend to forget those things. So by noting down, by making clear processes and making structures that you almost cannot miss on the right decision, you most probably will make more right decisions in your life. Decisions you're going to be happy about and you look forward to. And um, with YouTube and those kind of videos, I'm kind of happy. I'm happy to share my knowledge. I'm happy to share my experiences and I'm more than happy to share my mistakes. So you don't have to make them. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I will put left and right something else for you to watch as well. You see the weather is awesome today. And um, if you want to see more of this kind of content, please subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and tell me your take on it. How important it is to keep track of the things you like and the things you benefit from and how important do you think it is to keep track of your mistakes and the solutions as well. The comment section is free for you. Have an absolutely blast today because um, at least in Switzerland, as you see right now, the weather is already great, if not awesome. And uh, I hope in your country, wherever you are right now, it is the same. And if it's not this kind of weather, find the joy in any other kind of weather. And always keep in mind, that's not the wrong or bad weather. It's just the wrong or bad clothing. That's it from my side. Have a great one. Bye-bye.